Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is always know when enough is enough. And I'm saying that today because I knocked all the skin off my finger today. All only because I don't know when to stop. I'm always uh, pushing myself past my limits most of the time. But I'm still working on my grandmother's old house. As you can see, I got one side of the, the house done, the floor is put in. I got to uh, do the other side. The other side is prepped and is ready for the floor to be put in. So I'm doing pretty good. But the conversation to, for today is going to be, again, uh, knowing when enough is enough, knowing when to stop, knowing how far to push yourself before you actually get to the point to where something bad can happen. It's almost like when you're lifting weights, and we're gonna take the bench press because that's the most popular thing when it comes down to men lifting weights anyway. Our main thing is the bench press. And when we are bench pressing, the thing that you would wanna be aware of is that your mind will always tell you that extra five pounds was enough. The extra five pounds added to your weight is enough. You've done all you can do for that day. But will you stop? No, you don't stop. You add a, a extra five pounds on there. On top of that five pounds. And before you know it, the weight is stuck on your chest. And it happened to be one of those days that you're working out by yourself. That right there, and it depends on how much weight you're actually dealing with, but normally, you know, when you get to the point to where you dealing with five pound increments, you lift them pretty heavy for you. And by you not knowing when to stop, you've now gotten yourself into a situation that could be deadly. Because the thing about lifting weights is, is that it's, it's actual weight. It's weight that you're pushing off your body. And this stuff can crush you depending on you know how strong you are and how much weight you're lifting. This stuff can crush you and kill you. And you're doing it for what? I don't know, because, because if you're training by yourself, you know, you're really not impressing anybody. You're just pushing yourself. You're pushing yourself because it's just you and the weight. But you have to know when enough is enough when you're dealing with the uh, strength part of things. Now, if you're doing the bodybuilding thing, bodybuilding, you should never get stuck under the weight, uh, simply because I don't believe in advocating uh, training to failure. You know, that right there is a recipe for disaster too. But it'll be with lighter weights when you're training to failure when it comes down to bodybuilding because bodybuilders are really never lifting weight to their maximum when they're uh, bodybuilding. But like I said before, you want to be lifting weights that's going to really uh, cause a danger to yourself. You have to know when to stop, when to leave it alone, come back in the next week. Like, I would have been all right if I had stopped where my mind told me to stop, but I didn't. So that's why all the skin is missing off my finger because of what I was doing. Now, those things are always gonna have something bad to happen to you if you don't listen to that 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 subconscious thing that's telling you stop leave it alone always listen to yourself when you're lifting weights always listen listen to yourself when you're doing work period just listen to that that subconscious the subconscious is trying to let you know something is going on so you got to be more in tune as well as with your body as well as with your mind. All that stuff works together for a reason, as you can see. 
and I wasn't listening to my mind. So I'm gonna uh, get back to work on this this house and uh, uh, finish cleaning up. Not working, finish cleaning up because the work part should have been over with. But I kept going. I'm gonna finish cleaning up uh, my tools and call it a day. But anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.